Hello my beautiful people, how are you? How are you doing? It's your girl boy of Volen and welcome to the most amazing, most interesting and most educative channel. You all gonna love it in here. What you have to do is to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Today we are in the antelopes family and we are going to talk about one of the largest antelopes worldwide, the Ron antelope. The Ron antelope is the third largest worldwide, but it is the second largest antelope in Africa after the airland. The conservation status of this beautiful Ron antelope worldwide, they are species of least concern according to the IUCN red list. But in Kenya, they are locally endangered and they are only found in one national park in Kenya. So if you are a visitor and you want to go visit and check the Ron Antelope, just go and check Ruma National Park. That is the only park that you will visit and you will be able to see the Ron Antelope. So Ron Antelope are territorial animals. You can see they have an alpha male and their groups can consist of around 5 to 25 individuals. So in the herd that I have picked to talk about, this is the alpha male. You can see how carved and gregarious their horns are. Very big. You can see, let me zoom it for you. You can see very well how big and how curvaceous their horns are. This is the alpha male in this herd. So in this herd, you can see <coughs> Ron antelopes are just grazing over here. They're just grazing. Some are up there drinking water, but these ones down here are still grazing. The water point is not far from here. You can see they're grazing in the short shorter grass. There is a longer grass in front of them, but they've chosen to graze over this short grass so ron antelopes as you can see they are grazers as most of the time they graze but they don't only graze they supplement by browsing so they graze and browse most of the time they usually graze but when the droughts hit and it's very dry at some point they browse they eat forbs yeah so the lifespan of a run antelope is 17 years so they can live up to 17 years so this group literally consists of adult females the adult males and the young ones you can see oxpeckers are also enjoying here because they're picking the ticks that are on the runs they this is a mutual this is a mutual benefit because the run antelopes benefit because these oxpeckers pick pick ticks from their body and the ticks usually feed on their blood so the oxpeckers can feed on the ticks this is an adult female you can see how relaxed it is just grazing and the oxpecker up there so they, 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 their calves are already moving in front but then these ones are still grazing these adult females are still grazing uh, a male run is a bull while a female one is a cow so Cows, when a cow is expectant, it takes it nine months to deliver. Just like we humans take nine months, so do may, do run antelopes. Here, this is the, this is an adult female in front, followed by the alpha male of this group. Males are huge and bigger compared to the female 
counterparts you can compare that in this here this is an adult female and the other one is an adult male adult males weigh up from 242 kgs to 300 kgs while adult females weigh a little lesser than that by weighing 223 kgs to 280 kgs Ron antelopes are not slow as you can think they are very much alert and they when they see you on foot they feel like you are a poacher and they run they have a speed of 56 kilometers per hour so they can run very fast the cows have a calving interval of around 10 to 11 months and rones are very much social with other animals imagine the grazing with the water bags at the same place with the heart beast at the same place at the same time they are with these little oribis just grazing they are not stressed they're just grazing because they're social animals they, they are also even grazing with the with the um, impalas so they, they are just friendly animals although they're very much shy they're very shy and they're very much alert you can see the other male the alpha male is already scared because it has spotted us look at this one they are very very much alert they've spotted us and now they want to run away and join the other herd that is at the water point and you can see they're just moving now because yeah they've spotted us and they're very much alert they are very much alert however much they're alert and they you can see this alpha male <coughs> already staring at us and it feels like it should alert the whole herd to move it has really spotted us from a distance uh they're territorial animals and that's why they have this alpha male uh they mate throughout the year they don't have a consistent mating season they just mate throughout the year uh another Fun fact about these run antelopes. Expectant females usually seclude themselves when they want to deliver and they can be escorted with maybe two or one female and then they disappear from the herd for some time until they deliver. So once it has delivered, it will take around six weeks and then it will come back to the original herd and when they come to the original herd mostly when the kid is still young they usually leave it behind to rest as the other herd continues to graze and these young ones when they are left and then you go there and then they sense like this danger they will dive in the tall grass or in the shrubs so that you can't see it because it knows very well it is not having that speed it can't run at a certain speed so what they do they they just go under and then let you pass because yeah they also sense danger however little they can be um sick run antelopes also seclude themselves from the herd once an a run antelope is sick you just see it secluded and that is a sign that you should not very well once it's sick you'll just see it secluded from the group maybe walking slowly so it's upon you to go check uh you have noticed that both run antelopes the male and the females both have horns they both have carved horns so from just staring at a distance you won't be able to see and differentiate between the male and the female because both of them have horns so what you have to check is the reproductive organ so when you want to differentiate between a male and adult you can see the horns are just playing around if you want to differentiate between 
a male and a female drone, you have to check very well keenly at the reproductive organ. Uh, the drone antelopes prefer a habitat full of grass, so you can see most of them. This is a savanna grassland, and uh, yeah, they love grasslands. However much they can stay in the plains, they also love hilly areas. So when it is rainy, they climb to the hills because they don't love spending their time in the mud. So when it's muddy in the plains, they climb up the hill and they sleep there. They spend their night there and during the morning, they come back to the plains most of the time when it rains. So that is a point to note because yeah they don't love being in the mud mm. uh, so most mostly if you are very keen you will see that the body size of the female adults is not that big or their horse is not that curved compared to the males the males have a more curved and very huge horn compared to their female counterparts because they'll fight for territory so their horns yes help them to fight as they mark their territory remember they are territorial animals you can see there they are already drunk water and now they are climbing up the hill to go and spend their time over there Run antelopes mostly feed in the morning or in the evening when it's really cool in the day. But when it's already hot, you will find them just relaxed under trees. And they are very much alert. So when they sleep, they won't just live under trees. But they make sure they can spot a predator from a distance. So sometimes you'll just go and then find them sleeping but not under trees they're just sleeping in the open or if they're sleeping under trees they're sleeping in trees that they can spot the predators yeah so here you can just see them it's already noon and yeah the sun is really hot you can see they're in the short grass and now you can spot the tall grass over there this brown one in the middle is the heart beast you can see how close they are, but they are not scared. Neither the heartbeat nor the runs are scared. You can see this alpha male is just relaxed under the tree because it's too hot. But these ones are still scared of us because they are sensing this danger. You can see how relaxed this is. It's relaxed, but no, it's just that you can see it's already running, almost going to join the ones drinking over there. And this is an adult female. You can compare the horns of this one and the alpha male. This one, its horns are not that much curved compared to this. You can see this male lying over here has more curved horns compared this female so guys thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe and hit the notification share if possible and yeah welcome to roma national park come see the only remnants of drone antelope in kenya and yes tour with kenya wildlife for such kind of moments thank you for for viewing and thank you for subscribing yeah